Hey guys, back at it here with Totally Baseball again. Today, we're going to be talking about fielding. Uh, fielding, obviously the most important thing you need to do on defense. That's how you get your outs. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into single player. We're going to go into hard and play on... I like playing on this one the most. We're going to do a nine inning game. Don't worry, we're not going to do a complete game. I'm just going to kind of talk about the aspects of fielding. Um, and then I'll edit it. Uh, so that you don't see me batting. I'm just going to talk about the fielding. So let me go into a nine-inning game here. A uh, good thing is I start pitching, so it means I can do defense right off the bat. So I did a pitching video the other day um, talking about how to pitch and how I like to pitch personally. Uh, in terms of the basics, in terms of fielding, you have the first baseman, you have the second baseman, shortstop, the third baseman, right field, center field, and left fielder. So when the ball is hit, the ball will uh, go into slow motion for about a split second, uh, and it'll put you to the nearest position of the player who's going to receive that ball. And it's up to you to get it and field it, of course. Pop fly, you want to catch it, ground ball, you want to take it, throw it to the first baseman, etc., etc., rules of baseball and whatnot. So let me try to get him to hit the ball here. That was a great pitch. Okay. I, gave him one. I gave him a bean ball right down the middle. He didn't want to take it. Let's try to give him another bean ball here. All right, there we go. So this is going to left field, uh, right field. Kind of want to run over and catch it like that. I use the sticks locomotion, uh, which means I need to use both the sticks to basically run. If you use one stick, you move this slowly. If you use two sticks, you basically full sprint. Um, there's also the... Uh, running one so what you do is you press the two side grips and then you run like that I personally can't play like this because I just I'm not that great at it let me see if I can get it out like that um, you also would have to press I'm on oculus so if you press both of the a buttons you run back you run backwards like that so if it's a pop fly and you're watching it you run back you catch it like that so let me run back to the pitcher's mound Plus, is, I feel like this would hurt my arms after a while, but um, I can see the appeal. Some people like to actually feel like they're running. Um, the cool thing is when you do hit the ball, then you, you run like that as well, which I actually think is pretty cool. Uh, maybe there could be an option in the future where you can enable the running for just batting, and then you can do the locomotion for defense, like a way to kind of change it in the settings. So let's see if I can get him to... He's definitely not going to swing at that. So let me see if I can get him one down the middle here. Ball two. Nope, down the middle here. Come on. There we go. So ground ball, and oh, he dropped it, and the pitcher got it. Out of there. Never mind. That's not what I needed. I needed a good ground ball to the second baseman, not one to the pitcher. Strike one. Probably gonna make an error, cause I'm not very good at. Oh, who is it? Okay, another ground ball, and then you throw it, and easy out. So let me switch back to locomotion, a uh, smooth locomotion, because I just think it's way easier. Um, also, anyone who has trouble with throwing to the first baseman at, like, if it's a ground ball and you're throwing it, like, way over the first baseman or you're completely missing it, your throwing assist would probably set to low. I recommend putting it on high. Um, I think it's just easier to throw it to the first baseman that way or throw it to whoever you're trying to throw it to. Uh, definitely, definitely recommend setting that to high. And I will see you guys in the next inning for more tips. All right, perfect. So I'm back on defense. Um, I kind of explained everything I really needed to, but uh, we'll kind of just go into the motion of catching more balls. Um, the better you get at fielding, you'll make some pretty cool plays. I've made plays where uh, the ball was about to bounce off the fence, and I've jumped, literally jumped in real life and caught it. Uh, I definitely don't recommend that if you have really short ceilings. My ceilings are pretty high, so I'm able to kind of jump and reach. See if we can get them to hit the ball here so we can do a nice play. If this ball's going to the second baseman, you kind of just go back, wait for it, they are boom, out of press there. it, catch it, throw it back to the pitcher, just like that. Fielding is definitely my favorite part of the game. I love pulling off double plays, uh, ground ball to the third baseman, you throw it a second and throw it a first for a double play. Um, I like plays at the wall where you have to jump for it. Uh, those are just really fun plays to do. Let me see if I can possibly make a good play here. Ball two. If I can throw a good pitch, that'd be great. I should probably switch it to cannon just so I can kind of quickly get him to hit. So let me just do that real quick. Switch it to cannon. 
So I could just get him to hit. Strike wow. One. Even with the cannon, he still can't hit it. Let's try again. There we go. Ground ball. You can charge at it. Quick turn. <laughs> I forgot I still have cannon on. Uh, let me actually turn that off. Yeah, forget. With the cannon, the cannon also works for the fielding, too. So you would have to cannon throw it to the first baseman. I just don't find it very satisfying to cannon throw it to the first baseman. So this is going to go to center field. It might drop in. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Did you so, see that? was able to run and get it. The fielding seems part of the game that people have the least issues with. Because it just, I think it works really well. Well, how about that? So I really feel like making a video on it wasn't really important but i know some people might have some trouble with the fielding all right back again i'm probably going to use this as my last inning for the fielding practice just get a couple of fielding Shot spots on. hopefully they hit the ball let's see so we can show you some more fielding gameplay okay this one's going to the other side of the field it's going far it's going far it's going far you can look for the blue dot Touch it. Out of there. i personally track the ball then look for the blue circle um but that's just me. If you really need to see where the ball is going, you could turn, look for the loose circle. And my tracking got lost. Yeah, so when it is a pop fly, you'll see a blue circle somewhere. You kind of want to run in it. Uh, I personally like to stand in front of the blue circle. Cause I feel like if you stand in the center of the blue circle, the ball kind of lands here. You kind of want to be a little bit in front of it so it lands right in the glove. All right, let's see if we can get two more pop flies or another pop fly so I can explain the blue circle. Maybe they'll get up a home run. Okay, so that's a pop fly. See, you turn around, you look for the blue circle, kind of stand in front of it. Back to the dugout with you. Right in the glove. Easy. Pretty perfect, too. I wasn't expecting it at a pop fly. See if we can get a ground ball to end the video here. Okay, another pop fly. But anyway, look for the blue circle, stand in front of it. Easy. Just like that. Obviously, you press the grip or the trigger to uh, catch the ball in the glove. But other than that, that's basically the gist of fielding. I hope it was helpful for some who might have been having a little bit of issues. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.